hello friends welcome back to online math so we're gonna be solving this problem so this is x power 3 it's equal to 27 so we're gonna be looking for the values of x that actually satisfy this equation so you want to make sure that uh, of course if you need to our channel do what you hit the like button subscribe to our channel and also turn on the notification icon so that whenever we release new content you actually get to know about it and of course if you are returning subscriber thank you so much and then hit the like button even as we proceed with this video so i like to start by writing solution and of course repeating the equation this is x power 3 it's equal to 27 okay so uh, the first thing i want to do is actually to rewrite this 27 and then i can write it as as 3 power 3 okay and then if I bring this uh, 3 power 3 to the left hand side, so I'm going to be having x power 3 and then minus 3 power 3 and it's equal to 0. So you can see that this is this this is a difference of uh, uh, two cubes. And if you remember this uh, expansion that if you have a cube minus b cube, you can actually expand this to be a minus b. And then multiply by a squared uh, plus a b okay and then plus b squared so this is actually how you can expand uh, the difference of two cubes so i'm going to be applying this right here so in this case you can see that uh, a is equal to x and b is equal to three okay so if that's the case this uh equation now becomes x minus 3 okay multiplied by x squared plus 3 times x that is 3x and then plus 3 squared okay and of course it's equal to 0 so if i utilize the, the zero product rule right here i'm gonna be having that is either x minus 3 is equal to 0 or the second bracket x squared plus 3x plus 3 squared is actually nice i'm gonna write that as 9 is equal to 0 okay so solving these cases one after the other so if i want to solve this i'm gonna be having that this is equal to x i'm gonna be having that this will give me x is equal to a 3 so if i take this uh, 3 to the right hand side x now becomes equal to 3 so this is going to be the first value of x that satisfy uh, the equation we are solving so i'm going to be solving this one also so that we can get the remaining two values of x that satisfy the equation we are solving okay so i'm just going to go ahead to use the general formula methods to actually solve this so you can see that a which is the coefficient of x squared is uh, 1 and then b which is the coefficient of x is 3 and c which is the constant here is 9 okay oh. so i'm going to be putting it in this formula x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac and it's all divided by 2a okay so substituting the values of a and b c what i'm going to be having is that x is equal to minus b which is minus 3 plus or minus the square root of 3 squared okay and then of course minus 4 times 1 and then times 9 divided by 2 times 1 okay so simplifying here what i'm going to be having is minus 3 plus or minus the square root of 3 squared is 9 minus 4 times 1 times now will give me 36 okay divided by 2 times 1 here is 2 so that i have that x now becomes minus 3 plus or uh, minus uh, root if I subtract this, I'm going to be having this is minus 27, okay, divided by 2, 
okay so and of course this, this will be equal to minus 3 plus or minus i can actually split this as uh, uh, minus 1 minus 1 and then times root 27 of course if you multiply both of them you have negative 27 right here okay so divided by 2 and so continuing from here what i'm going to be having is that x is equal to minus 3 and then of course plus or minus a root negative 1 is i okay and of course multiplied by uh, for us to evaluate this we actually we can actually split this to be root uh, 9 times 3 okay uh, divided by 2 so that we can also solve this to be minus 3 plus or minus i okay so we can actually take the square of this to bring it out so the square of 9 is actually 3 and then we are left with 3 root 3 okay divided by 2 so that moving on we are actually going to factorize this 3 out then what i have here is minus 1 plus or minus okay i root 3 okay and of course divided by 2 so let me just put this divided by 2 right here so if i put all the value if then of course i can split this to see that uh, x is now equal to 3 over 2 uh, into minus 1 and of course plus i root 3 or 3 over 2 into minus 1 minus uh, uh, 3 root 3 i or i root 3 so it's still the same so that if I put all the values of x together, what I'm going to be having, if I put this uh, little box right here, okay, so the first value of x we got is actually 3, and then the second value of x, so let me name this x1, then x2 is actually going to be 3 into minus 1 plus i root 3, okay, divided by 2 and then the third value of x is now equal to 3 into minus 1 plus i root 3 and of course divided by 2 okay so sorry this is negative okay so these are the three values of x that are actually going to satisfy the equation we are solving so if you've understood this let me have your thought in the comment section like this video and subscribe to the channel for more updates and i'm going to see you guys in my next video bye